Hi and welcome back to another episode of Road Back to India. For the past week I've been watching Bollywood movies you recommended in order to learn more about Indian culture and a little bit more Hindi before I head back to India probably at the end of September. This week I'm going to watch Zindagi na Milegi Dobara. I have no freaking idea if I pronounce that correctly. Obviously I have to watch this movie because every week there's at least one person who recommends me to watch this movie. Also, I've been looking for two states, but I cannot find it. I cannot download it. I cannot buy it in an iTunes store. I cannot find an online version to stream the movie. If you have any options I didn't try yet, help me out because I cannot find two states. And that is, I think, the second recommended movie after Zindagi Nami Legi Dobara. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the movie. Yes, there's gonna be a wedding. Also, someone mentioned in the comments this is not a good movie to watch because the whole movie is filmed in Spain, yada yada yada. It doesn't matter. Like, they speak Hindi. I can learn more Hindi words. If it's a beautiful movie, I love to watch it. And also, Indian culture is throughout the movie. It doesn't matter if it's in India or in Spain. I do agree it would be better if it was in India, but it doesn't matter. It's not a problem. It's not a problem for me. Uh-oh, there's gonna be a wild bachelor party. This one guy from London, he's very arrogant about money. No, this guy. Wow, so it's gonna be three guys, three Indian guys on a bachelor trip in Europe. You really do know me well, man. I think it's gonna be a great movie. I hope it's like The Hangover, then I will like it. <laughs> oh crap, the other guy hooked up with his girlfriend. Ouch, that's gonna be a painful road trip. Yo, what happened with bros before hoes, man? I don't know, that's crazy. Sonali was a bitch, understand? I'm sorry, really, yeah. Okay. She was a waste of time. Yeah, she was a bitch. She's a waste of time now. Poor guys. Nope, nope, this is illegal in Europe. You cannot drive and talk like this. You need a headphone. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't like this Imran guy. He's such a player. <laughs> Can many Indian people swim? Because I know in Malaysia they don't have swimming classes and a lot of people drown every year. Um, I don't know what the case is in India. Not by any means saying India and Malaysia are the same country. I just did my deep diving course over there and I learned that it's not more normal to get swimming classes. And in the Netherlands, basically every child get, learns how to swim. So I was just wondering what the case is in India. Wow, this is really beautifully filmed. By the way, I'm watching an extremely cracky version which keeps Ugh, lagging and everything, but I'm determined to watch this movie. Oh, this is really cute. He is so impressed with the deep sea diving. Oh, yes, I fixed the streaming problem. I can finally watch the movie normally. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Imran, he is such a freaking annoying dude. And the girl actually likes Arjun. Stop it. Stop it, you little hater. Ah, this looks really fun, man. But you know what I'm missing in this movie? The coordinated dances. Where are the coordinated dances? Oh no, what is his fiance doing there? Seriously, you came to surprise your fiance on his bachelor trip. That's just wrong. You don't do that. Yo, dude, this is just freaking creepy if you just lock the door. Hell no. Hell no. Don't ever do this to a girl. I promise you, the girl will not laugh. She will freaking scream for her life. Jessica Tum, like you. Did I pronounce that correctly? Wow, that's such a beautiful quote. Has a paycheck ever brought tears to your eyes? Never, never. Money is just a means to get to the really important things. Tokyo, and then what? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. She's, she has like the happiest eyes ever. I love her. Can I make a prediction? I don't think Kabir is getting married because this girl doesn't seem like a really nice girl. Yes, yes, she's going after him. Yeah! Wee! She kisses him. Awesome. Ugh, they are so freaking cute, man. Hell no, no bye. No, 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 no. You need to get married. What does Che mean? Like they're saying it all the time like, I don't know, it looks like an insult, but it's not translated. They just translated with chi. What does it mean? Oh wow, this is beautiful. And 
incredible images. I don't know how they filmed this, but it's really, really beautiful. Finally, coordinated dances, yay! It's not a Bollywood movie without a coordinated dance, man. Oh, he gets to meet his father. <laughs> wow, at least the father is honest. It's not fun to hear, but it's better to be honest, I guess. Oh snap, he actually did not propose to her. That's so awkward. Yeah, I can understand this is very tough if the two families of the couple are doing business with each other. It's not smart to break off the marriage, but it wouldn't be in the West either. It's just that smart. Oh snap. Mad respect, mad respect. I wouldn't do this. Crap, man, this ish is really dangerous. Why would you do this? This is crazy. No, what is he doing? What is he doing? What? What? I totally forgot, but somebody translated the title of the movie for me in the comments, and it means YOLO. Like, honestly, this is not a joke. I have how many minutes left of this movie? Eight minutes. They're at the wedding. And it just suddenly clicked in my head, like, oh wow, now I understand. I was like, and up until five minutes ago, I was like, why do you want me to watch this? What can I learn from this? But I I can really recognize myself like in the final poem, always choose for your freedom. And I understand that in Indian society, it's not always only up to you because there are families involved, there's business involved. And I know it's gotten a lot better, but I know there's still like um, a lot of room for improvement in terms of personal freedom. So... I understand what this movie means and thank you for letting me watch it. I love it. I love it. But also at the same time, I feel a little bit like the arrogant Westerner because I know Indian society got a lot better in terms of personal freedom, especially in the um, in the big cities, you know, the, the way people uh, dress and the way girls behave and the way guys behave and in terms of marriage and um, living together without being married. I already learned so much from you guys and it, it's definitely changing my perspective on India. Basically I want to say thank you so much for being so patient with me and explaining everything about your culture and um, the changes that have happened over the past few years. I really, really appreciate that. And now I'm going to enjoy the wedding scene. Yay, wedding! Awesome! Yay for coordinated dancing! I love it! Recommend me other Bollywood movies in the comments because next week I want to watch another one. If you like this video put a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel click that subscribe button because then maybe we can travel together to India. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!